guys i'm going to come to you with a quick video and in today's video i'm going to talk about how to wire a solar system using two solar charge controllers and from of course two different solar arrays and i know many of you are into solar and um, you've seen guys using two solar charge controllers and wonder how is it possible to have two solar charge controllers going to a single battery bank well the DIY one for our channel we're gonna do that right now on this channel so let's just jump right in let's pull up my handy dandy drawing tool all right so let's just go through this um scenario right now so we have two different solar arrays and we have only a single battery bank but we want to use two different solar charge controllers to charge that single battery bank in order to speed up the charge of your batteries okay you want to push more amps in your batteries all right so it, it can be done so let's just jump in and do that right now so here's my pen and i'm using my mouse to draw with and so i'm trying to get better at this the last time i did a video i realized it was very very small so i'm not the best artist or anything like that guys but this is just for illustration purposes all right so nothing i do here is to scale or anything like that just to show you so i'm not even going to put the lines in the solar panels just going to draw them roughly all right so here we have two different solar panels let me draw these a little bit smaller oh well you know what i'll do that that's all right we can do that all right okay so this is these two here make up one solar array all right just like that and i'm just drawing rough stuff hope you guys understand i'm not trying to be an artist right now just <laughs> just trying to show you guys an illustration right so let's just take it that way all right so let's go here and this is my second solar array All right, so this is one solar array here, solar array one, and solar array two. Okay, so we have these two panels in solar array one and these two panels in solar array two. All right, I'm gonna assume that you have a combiner box and all those things here. So you know what? Just for illustration purposes, let's just put a combiner box here. And let's put a combiner box over here. All right so in the combiner box on one side we're going to have positive and on the other side we're going to have negative so all the the positive terminals will go here and all the negative terminals will go in here just like that okay same thing over here all the positive terminals go here and of course all the negative terms terminals will go right here all right and we're going to have the same thing we're going to have positive here and negative here it's a big negative terminal what you understand okay so same with here we're going to have negative oops bum, 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 bum. let's get rid of that and guys just let me know if you like these videos if you find these videos helpful just join it out like this roughly you know just for training purposes let me know if you like these videos give me your feedback if you think i should desist or if you think i should continue doing these kind of videos just let me know i'm open to your suggestions all right if it's not of value to you then i don't want to spend the time to do it but i think many people are out there who are curious about solar systems okay so here we go uh let's erase this and it's taking me a little bit of time because i'm getting used to this drawing tool here and using my mouse i plan later on to get a drawing tablet so hopefully i can do it a little bit faster but just trying to using the just trying to use a diy approach right now and use what i have at my disposal so let me, let me draw the positive terminal going to the combiner so I'm combining all the positives together and here I'm going to combine okay this is let's do all the positives first okay ah, I hope you guys okay ah, 
I can do better with that. So all the positives go in here. Then we're gonna have black wires, all the negatives go in here and go in there, okay? So you see what's going on here. So this is my combiner box right here. Let's just put COM for combiner. Okay, so that's my combiner box. So from there, we're gonna go into our solar charge controller, which is right here. And let's just put CC for solar charge controller, all right? I'm not drawing anything to scale, just some rough drawing right now. I'm using my mouse, as I said before. So it's a little bit difficult just getting used to it. All right, so positive. And of course, let's redraw my box. Okay. And negative right there. Okay. All right, good. So now we're going to come from the combiner box into our solar charge controller right there. Okay, then we have negative going right here. All right, so this is our solar charge controller. We have two different arrays. This is array one and that's array two. And we are going from our combiner box into our MPPT solar charge controller. So there's a MPPT solar charge controller, both of these, okay? All right, so I want to bother to label this one over here. So now we're from the MPPT solar charge controller, we're gonna go into um, our disconnect switch. We're gonna have a disconnect switch here. We may have it even right here. So I won't actually draw a disconnect switch, but you may have a disconnect switch, but, but I just want to show you the basic wiring, okay? So from there, we're going to jump into our battery bank. So let's just assume that we have a few batteries here, okay? We have two batteries here. And we have two batteries over here. Now this is gonna be interesting. Okay. So we've got two batteries here and two batteries here. All right. So looking at this right now, you're looking at two different battery banks, but we're going to join these together. We're gonna to make this one big battery bank. All right. We're gonna make it one big battery bank. Okay. All right. So how do we connect this system together? All right. So we're going to make it into one big battery bank, even though we have two different um, solar arrays going into this system right now. So to make it one diff um, big battery bank, what are we going to do here? We're going to do this. We're going to connect to a bus bar here. All right, now let me do this. Do something different, something fancy and nice. All right, so this here is gonna be our positive bus bar. And this here is gonna be our negative bus bar. So this is gonna be like a combiner as well, okay? I'll just put a single C for combiner. So what we wanna do right now, we're gonna make this into one big battery all right but before we do that let's assume that we've got a 12 volt system here okay so that's 12 volts 
and 12 volts right there right so that's a 12 volt system okay and we want to maintain a 12 volt system down here with these two set of batteries okay so what we're going to do now we're going to connect all the positive terminals to this bus bar here okay so this is a bus bar all the positives go to this bus bar all the positives go to this bus bar here let me kill that line up oh, eraser erase okay so all the positives going over here all right and all the positives going over here okay so that's our positive bus bar right there all right remember we're connecting everything in parallel these are all 12 volt batteries and we want to maintain a 12 volt system so we have connected all the positive terminals now we're going to connect all the negative terminals negative negative and negative now so let's draw that let me just give a different color for our negative terminals let me just choose blue just for illustration purposes okay so we're gonna have all the negatives going over here all the negatives going over here see that so connecting all the negatives together and we have connected all the positives together okay so this gives us one one big battery here one big 12 volt battery you see that and of course I didn't show you this part here that's positive that's negative okay you're gonna see how fancy this gets right now and of course positive wrong color but I'm always kill my box when I redraw stuff okay so let's just say, ah, uh, come on, uh, come on, I need the right color. So positive here, and of course negative here. Okay. So what we're going to do right now, remember that we have two solar charge controllers: it's solar charge controller one and solar charge controller two. Okay. So we have two solar charge controllers, and we're going to connect these solar charge controllers to our bus bar slash combiner boxes. So here we go. So positive is going to go here. Positive is going to go here. Positive is going to go here. You see that? Then we're going to have negative. We chose blue for negative just for illustration purposes. The negative is going to go here and negative here is going to go here and i hope you can kind of see what's going on here instead of us um, connecting from the negative terminal of the battery batteries to negative here and negatives there we're just connecting it to a bus bar right there just to make it you know easier to to wire so you don't have to go from battery to battery, even though that will work fine, but it's a lot cleaner. If you have two bus bars, one for positive, one for negatives, you bring all the negative terminals together and you bring all the positive terminals together. All right. And um, that way you don't have a lot of wire going across the batteries like that. Okay. And it also helps just to um, point this out to have the wires in equal lengths okay so that reduces voltage drop so you see from our our primary or our first solar array which has two panels we maintain a 12 volt system we go into 
our combiner box and from our combiner box we go to our mppt solar charge controller then from our mppt solar charge controller we connect to the bus bars for the positive and the negative terminals so here we go from positive terminal on the mppt solar charge controller to the positive bus bar from a negative terminal to the negative bus bar and then we do the same with, with the batteries we connect all the the batteries to their respective bus bars negative terminal to negative bus bar positive terminal to positive bus bar okay guys i hope this video helps you and just to show you how you can use two independent array to charge a single battery bank anthony coming to you with this DIY one for all video. I hope you have enjoyed it and uh, feel free to ask questions and share, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.